In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can create a system image backup in Windows 10. A system image is important to have especially if you start having problems in Windows and want to restore your computer back to a time when it wasn't experiencing any issues. So for the system image backup, you want to connect a external hard drive. So if I go into my computer here, you'll be able to see that I have a external hard drive there and that should have enough space in to create the image. So we'll close that down. And if we go into the start menu now and go into settings. And then if we go into update and security. And we go to backup. You'll see an option there in the middle which says go to backup and restore Windows 7. So if you select that, don't worry about that, it says Windows 7. And when that opens up there, you'll see up in the top left hand corner that you have the create a system image option. So that'll load up a window and do a scan for your external hard drive. So that will see there that one is connected. Once it's discovered the hard drive, just click next. So here it will confirm your backup settings. It will be able to see the external hard drive connected. It says this backup could take up to 16 gig of disk space, which is fine. We have plenty of space on the hard drive for that. And it gives you a list of the following drives that will be backed up as well. So it has the system partition, has the recovery partition as well. And it also includes the C drive, which is your system partition. So once you've confirmed all of that, just go to select the start backup. So that will go ahead and create the system image for you. Now you'll get prompted to create a system repair disk, but I'll go through this in another video on how you can create this. For now we'll say no and close down the windows here, but it's important that you create a system repair disk. So if you go and look at your external hard drive, you'll see that a new Windows image backup folder has now been created. And within this is your system image contained in another folder there called desktop that you can see. So we'll go ahead and close these windows down. So if you want to restore your system image, you can do this a couple of ways. One, you can do this by using a recovery drive or system disk. Two, you can do this by using a Windows 10 ISO and during the installation process you'll be able to select the repair your computer option. Or three, which is the option we're going to use, is by going to settings and going to update and security. And then recovery on the left hand side. And then you've got the advanced startup there, which will allow you to restore your computer from a Windows system image. So we'll go ahead and restart now. So once in advanced startup, you want to go down to the troubleshoot option. And from there, you want to go to advanced options. Now you can see the system image option isn't available there. So you want to go down to see more recovery options. Okay, so there you go, you can see the system image recovery option, we'll go into that. So that will go ahead and prepare the recovery process. You'll get prompted for your user account, which in my case is laptop, so I'll just go ahead and I'll pop in my password there. Okay, so that'll do a scan of your system and it's picked up my external hard drive there. And it's picked up the system image. So I'm going to go to select a system image. I won't go to the latest, I just want to show you all the images. And there's the image that we just took there. So we'll select that and we'll go to next. And we'll select the backup there for the system partitions and the volume. Select next again. So we don't need to do any advanced uh, installation or install any drivers. So we're just going to go ahead and select next again. And this is just going to get you to confirm that you're going to go ahead and restore with the following details. We'll select finish there. 
it gives you a warning that all data on the drives will be restored and will be replaced with the data in the system image so just confirm that and once you've confirmed that that'll go ahead and restore your system from the image okay so that's completed now and this will reboot automatically so we'll just go ahead and we'll select restart now okay so the system's back up and running and we'll log in so there you go that's how you create a full system image for your Windows 10 machine and also how you restore the Windows system image